All right, here's part number three in Autodesk Fusion 360. Let's start with a sketch. Uh, we'll build this one from the end as well. And that means we're going to start with a rectangle and then cut away from it. So that's the whole part has to be, let's see, 1, 2 by 2.5. So let's do 2.5 by 2. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another rectangle because if I look at this, I can subtract something out of it. And that's something that I want to subtract out of it if that's 1. Oh, it's 1.5 tall. 1.5 tall by 1. So that's the part that I want to subtract out of it. Hit enter. Uh, be, but look, before we do that, let's make this part too. So this is another part to cut out. And we're going to cut out a part that's exactly 0. 0.5 by 2 and then I'm going to right click press pull on that center part and that has to be 4.5 long so let's make 4.5 long now forgive me because I'm new with holes in fusion so let's give this a try it's pretty simple I think let's click on the top face we click on this icon we can change the size of the hole so the size of that hole it's by diameter we need 0.5 right is that the right yep yeah, that's the right size and then we click on the center of the hole and tell it how far it is to this edge and it looks to me like it's 0.5 from that edge and then from that edge it is exactly one And once we get that in, we can hit enter, and our hole should be there, the right size and the right place. Awesome. Let's rotate this around now. This is where touch screen is really, really nice. And put the other hole in place. Let's do a hole. We don't even need a sketch plane. Put a hole somewhere in there. It's the same size, so we don't need to change the size. We've already clicked on the center. So now we can tell how far it is from this side. And it's exactly one box, which is... 0.5 inches and then from this side it looks to be one and a half boxes so let's call it three quarters of an inch does that look right no it doesn't let's call it um, one inch or 0.5 inches and see what happens and then we get it right so once we get that right it's uh you know what? I don't really think it is 0.75. Either way, once you get it where you want, once you get it the size you want, you hit enter, and enter, and there's your hole. And you've got your hole, you've got your hole, you've got your completed part, and part number three is done.